Today I'm going to answer the most common questions I get in my business about outdoor movie licensing. Hi, I'm Paul the Outdoor Movie Guy and I own and run an outdoor movie company. I've been in the outdoor movie business for more than 10 years. If you have a question about outdoor movie licensing or about outdoor movies, be sure to put them in the comments below. Movie licensing disclaimer. I am not an attorney. I have never played one on TV. All the information provided is, to the best of my knowledge, from helping my clients with movie licensing and working with Swank and Criterion on non-theatrical screenings for many years. This is for US-based screenings only. Do I need to obtain movie licensing to show a movie? Well, unless you're hosting a private party at your own house, you are required to get a license. Little Tommy's birthday party is fine. However, if that party was in a public park, you would be required to get a license for your movie legally. The movie nights at our school were covered, right? Unless strictly for educational purposes in a classroom environment, you are required to obtain movie licensing. If your school plans on doing events indoors, they can apply for an individual film or site license. A site license allows multiple showings within a calendar year. Outdoor movies require a different license completely. They are more expensive. The yearly site license is not available for outdoor movies and your indoor site license will not cover outdoor movies. How do I get movie licensing for my movie night? Most movie studios are represented by one of two companies, Criterion USA or Swank Motion Pictures. Most movies that are available on DVD or streaming are available for licensing. Disney movies have a window when they're not available for public viewing. It's usually during the release of one of their movies in a traditional movie theater. If you are planning on doing a movie series showing Disney, Marvel, Pixar, or Star Wars movies, call Swank Motion Pictures and ask about the Disney window. Uh, the Disney window I explained in another video, which there should be a link either there or there. Um, if it's in the Disney vault, probably not available for licensing. Uh, Criterion does not carry Disney, but they do have a great selection of animated and live action movies. Both can give you great suggestions on what to show and help you develop a compelling schedule. Uh, contact information for the two licensing companies, Swank and Criterion, can be found below. I wanna watch something new. It's not out on DVD yet, is that possible? Well, there's a brief window where the movie is no longer playing in the theater, but is not available on DVD or streaming. Sometimes these movies are available for, through the licensing company. Uh, there are restrictions that apply, and sometimes they're only available to universities. Neither Swank or Criterion carry the movie. What now? You may have selected a movie that is independent or is looking for distribution. Try contacting the studio who made the film. Just because the large company do not have it in their catalog does not mean that licensing is not required. So all movies require licensing? Well, nearly. Some older movies have fallen out of copyright or they may have been subject to a mistake when the film was being made, which made the copyright invalid. Maybe the most famous is Night of the Living Dead, but maybe not the best movie for your family movie night. They're coming to get you, Barbara. How much is the licensing? That depends on the crowd size, location, and movie. For events under 200 guests, to be prepared to spend anywhere from $200 to $600. Larger crowds are more expensive. It's expensive, can I get a discount? If you are planning a movie series, you can sometimes get a discount. If you do all of your licensing with one of the licensing companies, you will definitely have to ask for this discount. You would need to have you know, three, four, five movies, the larger your movie series, the more of a, a flat fee you'll be able to pay. Can I charge admission? If you're looking to charge admission, it does change the licensing model. There is often a gate split required with the licensing company. Please call them, they are the experts. It's usually around 50%. There are also very specific rules about how you can advertise your event, so not to directly compete with traditional movie theaters. Both Criterion and Swank also provide images that you can use to publicize your event. Outdoor movie nights are a great way of building community. Many cities run free events every summer. I'm ready to book. What do I do next? What you need to get is a exhibition request form. This form will 
as for the following information, name, payment address, information on your screening location, how close it is to a traditional theater, your event details, like is it a drive-in, is it indoors, or is it outdoors, the requested movie, you'll also need to agree to their terms and conditions, which will include their cancellations, advertising uh, requirements, moratoriums, somebody passes away, they'll often pull films, and at that point they have to pull the licensing. Admission splits or suggested donations. For a payment of $30, they will also send you a DVD or a Blu-ray to be returned after your event for the movie, or you can provide your own legally obtained copy. So a legally obtained copy of a movie could be a DVD, could be a Blu-ray, could be streamed, it could be one of the services that allows you to download the movie. I do recommend not streaming your movie uh, for the main reason we're normally outside. If you've got hundreds and hundreds of people there and everybody's on a Wi-Fi or something that you're trying to stream the movie, there's a high likelihood that you're gonna have issues. Whenever possible, you need to have a physical copy. And I would always recommend two physical copies, an air and a spare, as they say. Special permission. Well, some movies, need special studio permission to be shown. Rules relating to their screenings. The cult classic, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, is one of the movies like that. If there is a movie theater that is showing that movie, that often shows that movie, they often won't allow another Rocky Horror Picture Show to happen in the area with the weeks around that. So that's definitely something you have to get studio approval for. And then the original Star Wars trilogy. Currently for outdoor movies, it can be, the licensing can be obtained. It's actually through Criterion for that at this current time. The studios have to approve it before that happens. So if you're looking for one of those, definitely give yourself a longer window when trying to do that. And I think that's basically everything. So if you do have any other questions about movie licensing, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. Uh, like, subscribe and give us some love. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.